Okay. You have me your ankle weight so you can stand up. start off with jumping jacks actually. Oh, let me make sure that is heavy. Morning. Good morning. So we're starting with jumping jacks with your weights. You can sit down and move your hands up and down like a jumping jacks. If you're tracking your workout, cardio, mixed cardio, or kickboxing. Ready? Let's go. Turn on. Go. Work. Close. Open. 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 Close.
One butt bridge, one roll up. We're doing both. Both. Four. Three. Two. That's it. Butt bridge. Up. Down. Legs up. Roll up. Stretch. Back down. Bend your knees. Butt bridge. Up. Down. Legs straight. Reach overhead. Sit up. Stretch. Sit back up. Tuck and roll down. One more. Butt bridge. Down. One more. Roll up. Inhale. Session complete. Good. Back to food to warm up. Quick sip of water if you need it. And we're standing up. Standing up, please. Mom, you too. Courtney, you might can stand up. We're doing jabs. So we're going to go for one minute. One minute. We're going to do a combo. It's going to look like this. Pop squat, two jabs. A pop squat is when you, okay, so modification, you can take out the jump, squat. A pop squat is to pop and squat. Okay, so if you have options to do that with your leg, or you can sit down and stand up. When you come back up, you're doing two jabs. One, two, squat, one, two, squat. If you want to use dumbbells, including your ankle weights, totally fine with me. Just focus on controlling your body. Starting session. Go. Work. Jab. Pop 
squat and jab. One, two, three on the right side. Repeating. To the right. One, two, three. See if you can pick it up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep your eyes on something. Shadow boxing. This is your last one of 
rest. One, two, three on the left. Thank <laughs> you. 
session complete. Water break. Take a one minute rest. Courtney on the ground, you're gonna do a uh, bicycle crunches. So we have quick feet. I hate this, but we can do it. So quick feet. Mom on your foot, what are you doing? Same for you. Thank you. So quick feet. Okay. More. Speedy high knees. Okay. Or choose one. But the first the initial exercise is quick feet. Starting session. Work. Fifteen seconds. Shaking yourself into shape. Five. Reds. Same for bicycle. Quick feet. Work. Front kick with the right foot, 
Last one. Go lunge. Up. Back. Like you're getting ready to run against your same ball. Start your lunges. You can even drop down. We're doing a track runner's position. You can go down or extend it. Okay? Focus on that part of the exercise. The down part. Okay. Starting session. Right foot first. We're starting up. Kicking with the right foot. Go. Left foot. Up. Left. Down. Go. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Right foot kick. Left foot back. Right foot kick. Left foot back. Up. Down. Up. Down. Relax. Rest. Switch legs, court. Now we're kicking with the left foot first. Right foot back.
rest. We got one more. It's not cheating. Last one. No cheating. You good, Mom? You guys are good? Okay. All right, we're doing good. I feel good, so we might feel good too. All right, we're 42 minutes away. No, I'm stupid. 22 minutes away. <laughs> 22, 40, hell nah, Nettie. All right, so we're gonna do our favorite Beyonce song, Combo. The combo is random, so don't even try to prepare for it. I don't even know what it is. Whoa. All right, so on our feet, Courtney, you can start on your, start on the chair, sit down. I'm thinking we're gonna do four exercises the whole time. So there's some squats in there. What the hell? Where'd my sound go? All right, oh, you can see me. Let me roll this up. Just follow along. Don't complicate it. If you get lost at any time, go back to what we start with, squat, and jab. 
So anytime you get lost, squat and jab. All right, we're about ready. Lateral lunges, that's one of the exercises. So Courtney, stand up and sit down. Four, three, two, right. in the floor. Woo. So we're finishing with cardio here. So we're going to start off with Superman's. Everyone on their stomach, please. Ah. 
Let's do Sierra. Last cell. Then we're going to stretch. We're only doing a song and then we're done. Well, stretch and done. So three minutes and 25 seconds. Superman position in five, four, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. your stomach, your legs are as wide as your mat, to the side, one hand or both on your tummy, one on your chest, to the side, and you are focusing on breathing, deep inhale, blow your belly up like a balloon, on the exhale, take your time letting that air out, let's go. You can start. I'm just finding the new box.
keep breathing. Don't change your life, my friend. You've got to change your physiology and you got to change your focus. When you're trying to get well, you want to literally, you want to go all in. Keep breathing. And it not be a bet. You need to know the space so well. And you're like, I know for sure this is going to work. You can't have a standard education and expect to have an extraordinary life. It's not going to happen. The one breakthrough for all leaders is constant, never-ending improvement. And that means educating yourself and continuing to develop even greater emotional mastery because that's what affects whether you execute or not. The opportunity for self-education is there. We have to change our psychology from, I'm going to do what everybody else does, and I'm mad because it doesn't work anymore, to the reality is this is the greatest time to be alive if you're growing, you're learning, you're educating, and you're developing valuable skills. So instead of complaining, you got to say, where are the skill sets valued in the marketplace? And how do I work harder on myself than anything else? Because if I become more valuable, then I will be able to give more, do more, and change more. I interviewed Warren Buffett. I asked the most important investment he ever made in his life. You know what he said it was? I was thinking of all the companies he found. You know, he said, Tony, go into Dale Carnegie. I said, what? He goes, because by developing myself, that's the most important investment. Those skill sets, learning how to persuade, learning how to speak, learning how to influence. All my ideas were abide on my lips. If I hadn't been able to influence, I learned it from that little course. The most valuable thing I ever did in my life, he said. Think of this for a moment. Do you know that every living soul gets exactly the same amount of time? Exactly the same amount of time. Think about that. You can manage your activity. Make certain that what you're doing really makes a difference. Make certain that you're spending your time on activities that are productive, that are taking you in the direction of your goal. The traits that make you strange are the gifts that make you special. It's the very things that make you different that make you authentic. And if you don't fit in, I just want to share with you, I've never fit in. And the very nature of anyone who's living a visionary life. There's a popular quote going around at the moment. The Two person minutes. you will be in five years is based on the books you read and the people you hang around with today. This is quite true, but it applies to everything else as well. The person you will be in the future is based on everything you do today. The people you hang around with, but more so the people you listen to, the opinions you believe, the books you read, or the videos you watch, all the information you take in, positive or negative, will affect your future. The workouts you do or don't do, that will show up in the future. The foods you eat today will affect your future on a visual and energy level. The same is true with your thoughts and information. What you feed your mind will shape your future. If all you do is take in garbage, guess what your future is going to be made up of? Commit to feed your mind with successful thoughts and surround yourself with those who have the same ambition. It doesn't matter where you get your information from. You may read. You may get it from podcasts or videos. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you keep feeding your mind every day. Your future self is begging you to show some discipline. Your future self is begging you not to be like the rest, to learn more than the rest, to work harder and smarter than the rest. Your future self is begging you to do the work now so you can enjoy later. If you don't feed your mind with success, it will rot with mediocrity. What you do every day will dictate your future. What you want out of life, you must put it in. If you want success, put it in there. If you want health and fitness, put it in. If you want peace and happiness, put it in. Your actions will equal your results. My mind is strong. My thoughts are strong. My beliefs are strong. My life is strong. They say I can. I can. They say I won't. I will. They say I'm not. I am. I am limitless. I am. I am. There's nothing I cannot be. Nothing I cannot do. Nothing I cannot have. In my mind, there are no limits. I am limitless. Great job. Make your way to your seated position when you're ready. Either butterfly or legs are straight. You said go hard morning motivation. Mom. 
starting session. Finishing up. We're gonna do a neck stretch. So right hand to your right ear and pull it down to your right side. I say right hand to your left ear, sorry. And lengthen your spine, drop your shoulders down. So this left shoulder, pull it down to the left, pull your ear over to the right. Good, slowly release and switch. Left hand to the right ear, pull it over. Deep inhale, keep breathing. The same breathing technique you were doing on the floor. Try to stay connected with it. And slowly release. You're gonna put your hand on the crown of your head, the base and the back, lengthen up and drop your neck down. You can let your elbow naturally fall or yeah, fold itself in, squeezing your head. But you have to keep lengthening the spine, keep sitting up. And slowly release. Just look up and back. You don't need your hands for this one. Focus on getting your heart up to your ceiling, sky, the sun. Just let your head reach it back. Keep pushing the spine up so you're not letting it compress. Good. Bring it back center and neck circle. Drop to the right, bring back to the left, forward. Don't forget about your spine, pulling your butt to the floor, pulling the crown of your head up while you're moving your neck around. A very long spiral. Good. And reverse. Please don't forget to breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Big circle. Four. Awesome. Chest stretch. See if you can interlace your hands behind your back. Like this. And see if you can fold Work. forward. You want to get your hands up over your head. Releasing that tension in the upper back. Inhale, exhale, reach. You want to squeeze your shoulders. Keep holding on to your hands. Rest. Come up and now reverse it. Looking up. See. Work. You can drop your head down based on what you're feeling. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Deep opening up the heart and the chest. So really do your best to spread your chest apart. release. Rest. Good. Right foot over left. Pretzel. Courtney, do your strong leg first. And Work. we're twisting. Right foot over left, mom. Good. Now twist to your bed. Twist the other way. The other way. There you go. Yep. Switch your hand. Let the other hand hold that leg. Good. Rest. Relax. And switch left foot over right, holding your leg with your right hand. Lengthen up and Work. twist. They say all these twisting exercises are detoxing your organs. So if you're feeling bloated, this should help you to release some toxins. Breathing. Good. Rest. 
And we're gonna end with our wide-legged stretch. So open your legs as wide as you can. As wide as you can. When you're ready, we're gonna go to the right. Walk your body over to the right side. Pull the top of your leg on the ground. Uh, cat and B, you guys can do that partner stretch like I showed you. Just pull that one person hand to the left, pull it to the right, so you guys can stretch. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer. Really dig your hamstring down. Pull your heel to the floor. If you can get your chest there, pull that chest. Keep pulling. 10. Good. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Keep the tension in the middle, depending on who you are. And take it over to the other side, to the left. Every time you exhale, stretch. Surprisingly, this wide-legged stretch really helps to loosen up the lower back, any knee pain, because we're always so tight. Keep stretching, keep finding that uncomfortable part of your body. 30 more seconds. Remember, you want to embrace, release, lengthen. Twenty. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job. Bring your legs back together, straight or folded. We're just finishing out our last pose. Deep inhale, up, lengthen. Then bring your palms to your chest, bow into each other. Namaste. Whoa there, we killed it. Great session, guys. Ladies and gents, thank you all for joining. Hope you have a great session. Thank you, B. Missed you last weekend, so welcome back. <laughs> you, he, he's obligated now, so he has to come back. <laughs> Muy bien. Bye. See you guys on Tuesday. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Ati. <laughs> uh,